defends the WBA light middleweight title for the ninth time in 20 months. We also visit Nevada to take a look at the unbeaten Carlos Hernandez, a hot lightweight prospect whose nickname is famous, and he will be if he becomes El Salvador's first world champion. The main event first, though, it's from Saint-Jean-de-Luz in the south of France. 28-year-old Vasquez has had 51 fights, losing just one. He became world champion in December 1992. He's defended the title eight times, including a points win over Spain's Francisco Castelligo. That was on World Championship Boxing as well. His last defense was in May of this year on the Eubank Close Bill in Belfast, when he finally stopped the Russian, Hamet Totiev, in the tenth round of an outstanding world title fight. The champion is a tremendously strong and big-hitting southpaw with a rocky style of brawling aggression. He's knocked out 35 of his opponents, and that one defeat was a disqualification. The challenger is the unbeaten American Ronald Wright. He's won all 25 fights to date, 18 of them inside the distance. He too has plenty of experience of fighting in France, including knockout wins over Levon Rouse and Gilberto Barreto. Both were very quick wins in Paris. Wright is a clever, hard-hitting southpaw who's considered a real threat to Vasquez, but this is his first world title shot, and he's never been beyond eight rounds. Julio Cesar Vasquez, then, the fighter versus Ronald Wright, the counter-puncher for the WBA light middleweight championship of the world. Your commentary team in Saint-Jean-de-Luz, Reg Gutteridge and Jim Watt. Well, while they're getting the, the run down there in Spanish, it sounds, isn't it? One of the all-time hustlers and bustlers this fellow is what a tough guy vasquez and uh winky Wright is his nickname from florida he's been, been well cared for in his uh, matchmaking now but he's really got to try and prove himself with this one unbeaten you can't knock that but he's always been carefully picked they've nursed him a bit in florida the opponents he knocked out in paris well they weren't great fighters by any means this fella just marches forward the whole time and the only defeat was against verno phillips who we've seen on world championship boxing and uh, that was a disqualification. At first, it was uh, going to be a no contest because the seconds ran into the ring protesting about a punch after the bell. So it's all a bit unsatisfactory. But the old line about have gun shield will travel, Jim. That this champion from Argentina, you've got to hand it to him. He's been everywhere. I mean, going to Belfast itself was a knockout, wasn't it? Defeated a Russian in a great fight, too. Yeah, well, with, with his style, he doesn't really look for any help from any officials or anybody else. He's fairly basic. Uh, sometimes there's trouble in, in the early rounds with opponents, but his sheer strength uh, has never let him down. He usually comes on strong. And already, this, this is going to be a hot one for him. He's been needing a couple of jabs already in the first round here. An old southpaw battle, obviously. That's a good jab, right, so. Yeah, he makes that count, doesn't he? I've seen that before. He's, he's had a couple of one-round wins. His last, he's even had it in Luxembourg, a one-rounder. And it was the Venezuelan that he turned over in the first round last June in Paris. But who knows? First, first 12 rounds, Jim. You know, it's going to be a tough one for him because, as you say, Vasquez, he marches on a bit. I have to say, I, I like the look of Wright. I know he hasn't boxed anybody in uh, Vasquez's classes yet, but just the look of him, I like. I like the way he moves around. A couple of bits of pressure he's been under in the first round. He's coped without a problem. I think this is going to be a tough one for Vasquez. The WBA version, then, of the light middleweight championship, 11 stone, 154 pounder. Surprising, though, the boxing fans in France, you know, Jim, it just shows you, if you introduce people from abroad who can fight, it's a bit like bringing uh, foreign players into British football, really, isn't it? They're getting a lot of support now. Well, we saw a few cracks in Vasquez's defences when he boxed the Russian over in Ireland. And actually, he, was on, he found himself on the floor that night. So you just wonder with this busy schedule if it's maybe becoming too tough for him. I mean, this is a good first round for the challenger. He's not moving his head at all there, the champion. Look at that, he's getting picked off. He'd make a good goalkeeper. Nothing gets past him. Well, you know, he contributed to that, Jim Vasquez, really, by ducking. So the end of the, the opening round then, and that's the 
260th <laughs> pro rounds for this fellow. That's quite a record, isn't it? Rather, rather right, just hit, uh, the, uh, hit the 80 mark there. Now that, that's the pace of a couple of fighters there, particularly the one on the right, isn't it? 22 years old, right, and 28 the champion. Comes from the same uh, district as the great Carlos Monzon, this fellow, Jim Santa Fe. I know Monzon was one of your favourites, a different style to this. Second round then. And a good opener there for the challenger from Florida. He's enjoyed his uh, victories in France. Look at this, he's so accurate with it. I can't understand Vasquez standing for that, Jim. They're a bit obvious. But they're right he's putting so much power into the jab. Uh, normally Vasquez can come right through an opponent's jab, but he can't with this one. It's stopping him on his tracks. So he's going to have to get his own punches off earlier. He can't counter this fellow. He's going to have to lead, and that's what he's trying to do, but oh. again, a little bit clumsy. Yeah, he, he just turned the punch there, didn't he? Hooked it in well. I don't know if he was entitled to call that a knockdown. I, would, I would have done, Jim, definitely. I mean, it was stumbling, but a punch landed, and look, see how crude he is, and Wright has taken full advantage here. made up for it there yeah he's gonna count that one I hope yes mandatory aid of course now that won't do his confidence much good uh, it looks like he's congratulating Vasquez for catching him with the punch it's the only decent punch he's caught him with in a round and a half yeah and that's always the worry when the first decent punch you take puts you on the floor that doesn't do your, your cause any good I mean that was a stumble certainly that time but uh, first decent punch and he's over you have to wonder about his chin and his strength now he's on his back foot, crippling. Yeah, he's already come to terms with the fact that this is no easy job. See, I don't think he's ever been under fire like this before, Winky Wright, Jim. I mean, this, this is a test of character now. And it's so early in a 12-rounder. Well, it's certainly too early to get involved with Vasquez. It, he wants to try and keep it at long range if he can. But he seems to have lost his way a little bit in the second round. He's lost all of his composure. What a hard man to fight this Vasquez. He's not, he's, it's fairly easy to hit really, Jim, but he just bounces back. He's a rubber ball champion. Yeah, he's, Good ba fighters. he's basic, he's fairly crude. But very effective, and, and he uses his strength to the full. Now that's allowed, of course, in case you're not familiar with the rules. So normally they do give it a wash, but they haven't bothered with that. He, he didn't want to stop the momentum there, Vasquez, Jim. He, he didn't want to walk away and put his, his gum shield in in his corner or anything. He wanted to carry on here while he's got the upper hand. In fact, in his case, the upper two hands. The right jab is still working well, but he's lost his composure. He's really under pressure here. So it's a tough fight then, and it's time for a quick break, but we'll be right back with the rest of the action. start there a good opening round by the American Winky Wright and then some strong stuff indeed by the defending champion from the Argentine and it's all going to be a war of attrition as far as uh, Julio Cesar Vasquez is concerned because that's his game Wright's the better boxer of the two stylist anyway I don't think it would have mattered if this fight had been in America on uh, Wright's home turf, really, Jim. This guy's been around too long and fought away from home too much to 
worry about home crowds. Yeah, he's a real good uh, old pro. Not, nothing troubles him. He just does exactly the same thing every time he gets into the ring. But you've got to give Wright some credit. He's boxing well, and when he gets behind that jab and keeps a bit of space between him and Vasquez, he's very effective. It's just that when Vasquez gets close, he's too strong for him. Winky Wright's had more one-round victories, I think, than uh, Vasquez, because he's in definitely the wearing down process. The last one you remember in uh, Belfast was the 10th round before he nailed the Russian. He's picking his punches well at times, right, doesn't he, Jim? That's what he's got to do, presumably, is to keep on, on the move all the time like that and try and win it by speed. Yeah, if he can keep it at long range, he's certainly in with a good chance because he has no problem landing the jab. His follow-up combinations are good, but uh, it's just when Vasquez gets close, he's so strong. You, you realise really what a tough division this can be when you say we've got Robert McCracken now as our champion at this weight. Verno Phillips is the WBO champ, the man who has this decision over Vasquez by disqualification. We've seen Verno Phillips on uh, World Championship boxing. One of his guns for his mind, Winky Wright, Jim, he hasn't been beyond the eighth round. Hasn't needed to be beyond the eighth round. Well, I don't really think he came into this fight expecting a quick victory, Not probably not even an in inside the distance. That was a good left-hand lead from the champion. They had just glanced off his chin. I think he knew that this was going to be a long fight for him if he was going to be victorious. And he's pacing himself for that. He's trying to, to keep the pace down, trying to box at long range whenever he can. Now he knows how good the money was with those nine one round wins that he's had, right? I don't think that flattered to deceive. He did that well, but I mean, this is such a step up in class. At the end of the round, then. Believe you win the one, okay? Move, move, move. Don't do the walk. Don't do the walk, believe. Got a French second there, isn't it, with the American Jim in replay? It was a good close up, that. Yep, still good punching from the challenger. His jab's still working well, but he can't keep Vasquez away. Into five. Almost like a sort of weightlifter who's managed to become a decent boxer, actually, Vasquez, isn't he? Jimmy? He's quite mobile, really, for us. You know, he's quite loose in a lot of the stuff he does. He looks a tight-looking fighter, doesn't he? He's so strong. Yeah, very, very strong-looking neck and shoulders, which makes him look a little bit tight. He's fairly mobile in his feet, and he's getting close. He's getting his feet up nice and close to the right, which is giving him all the problems. Again, the right's effective at the beginning of the round. Seems to do his best work in the first minute. And then Vasquez uh, starts applying the pressure. See, if it goes a long way, and well, if it goes to the distance, actually, the judges are more being instructed, really, to give points for aggression these days. WBA and WBC. Well, they've always done that, but they've been told they must do now, which I don't necessarily agree with, because good boxers can move and move away and they don't score it. And then again, the good jabs coming from the challenger. Yeah, that, that's kind of, it's not on the run, Jim, but I mean, it's, it's a back pedal thing, and it, I hope they're scoring those. Yeah, I think what they actually mean is in a round where you find it difficult to pick a winner, if, if it's been a real close round then they want maybe to, to, to lean towards the aggressor but I think if the fellow on the back foot is landing obviously more punches in is winning the round yeah the leading off they call it in the rule book the, the better style in the leading off but the word aggression has come in now particularly from the American point of view Thank 
Frankie Wright's got the, the most support among the French crowd anyway. It's a hard fight, isn't it? It's a hard one, and, and Wright's actually boxing very well. He's got his jab working well, putting punches together. Well, there's a lovely jab again right onto the, the face of the champion, but he just can't discourage this man. He's so strong. And again, as we get into the, the last minute of the round, uh, Vasquez starts cutting down the range. This has been a decent round for the challenger. Yeah, he's put himself well back into the picture here after taking the knockdown early on. Yeah, the crowd liked that, the way Wright was fighting back there. He was well under fire right at the finish there, but he came back. He's a gutsy fellow. Hell, Jim looks like he's enjoying it in replay. Yeah, and he copes. I like that. On my card, that was a good round for, for Wright. And he copes with the pressure uh, just in the last half minute or so. The champion gave it all he had. But uh, Wright stuck to his guns and come back with some good shots. Round six then. The WBA light middleweight championship of the world. Taking place in France. And the first challenge by the American Ronald Wright. Unbeaten in 25. And Vasquez only one decision loss, and a silly decision loss actually, out of 51 fights. Trying to match him jab for jab there. That's unusual, Vasquez. Jimmy, why mean he gets into the second half of a fight? It, it's almost like in a, you know, in a horse race, he's coming on the home stretch all the time, and you can see him putting it down there. Yeah, well, it's just that natural strength he has there. In this round, he's got down to work a little bit quicker, and he's not giving Wright so much room. He's trying to get right on top of him. Wright very effective in the first minute and a half of the round. And he's getting behind that jab again. He won the championship for Vasquez actually against the, the Japanese, Kamiyama, that was in the first round. It was vacant at the time because uh, Billy Paz Pazienza had been stripped after he'd been in an, ac an accident that kept him out of the ring. Okay, Reg, I mean, Vasquez tried to take control at the start of the round. He, he didn't manage that. Now he's kind of standing off a little bit. There's one, one point there when I thought Wright looked a bit disheartened. Jim McIn Wright, he's come back in style now. Yeah, well, Vasquez didn't maintain that the pace. Probably, if, if he could have done that, uh, he would really have got the upper hand because Wright was looking a little bit lost. And here's that drive again as we get to the third minute again. That's when Vasquez is so effective. What a discouraging man. Oh, that was a bit naughty there, Jim. He tried to pull his head up there in, in, in an arm lock. It wasn't even clever. He kind of exaggerated the, the movement as well. He's lucky yeah. he didn't have a point taken away for that. I suppose that's a fair fight in the ghetto, but we don't want any of that here. must be so discouraging, Jim. You know, if you were in Wright's corner, you sort of saying, well, what can you do with this fellow? He's like a tank coming at me. Yeah, but I think they knew what to expect. And, and I think Wright's coping with it not so bad. I've liked him this round and the previous round. I think his punches have been cleaner. And then again, he's coped well with the pressure. A bit silly dropping his hands. You know, Wright's having a nice little spell here. Line, my there it is again. Don't worry. See, and he's got enough good clean punches there getting through. He just to keep his enthusiasm going. You know, under pressure a couple of times in that round, but throughout the, th the three minutes, I thought his work was better. Out for the seventh round then. There 
don't seem to have any trouble coping with each other's styles and both being southpaws often southpaws don't like facing another as we used to call them wrong way rounders yeah I, th I think that dates back to years ago when there weren't so many southpaws just so when you had a southpaw it felt awkward and there's sometimes it would make it oh, good good left hand there now that really shook him up yeah it was going well at that stage too it might dishearten him a little bit that his but eyes are nice and clear, he's yeah. not severely hurt, but I think it's dented his confidence a little bit. He got over the previous knockdown in the early rounds here. Oh, he, this fella goes for it, doesn't he? He knows when, when he's got a man on the hook. Real brutal strength stuff, isn't it, by Vasquez? Yeah, I think Wright has recovered okay from the knockdown punch, but it's his confidence now. You know, he's just kind of backing off a little bit negative. He's trying to. Oh, well, that, that was more no, of a slip. Yeah. I'm glad he hasn't counted on that. It was a genuine. You know, there's a problem with this canvas here. It's very shiny. And they're not using rosin in the corners as they did in the old days because of the rubber shoes most of them wear now. I mean, all of them, I think. But he, he's definitely having footing problem there. A oh, nice little cut there from, from right. Yeah, he's, he's still, he still knows what has to be done. But he's just under a little bit of pressure here. Vasquez's strength beginning to take over. Yeah, he's, he looks as though he's going to escape this round. Particularly with a point awarded for the knockdown. shortage of courage from, from right. Well, I feel a little bit sorry for, for right. He, he'd got himself back into the fight again in the two previous rounds. Uh, I gave him the feeling in my card. But uh, the, the big round in the second with the knockdown, and this one, it's uh, put the champion back uh, comfortably in front again. Little touches of desperation there with Winky Wright, but I hand it to him. Now he knows he's got to battle his way out of it as well now. He can't keep on the move with this fellow at him all the time. I mean, apart from the knockdown in this round, it'd have been difficult to split them, Reg, because I mean, this really has been a cracking round. But the, the, the knockdown obviously turns it in Vasquez's favour. This is a real good stuff here. Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you wonder why they can't give a drawn round if the man's got off the floor and won the rest of the round, but it, it really happens. I know the referee Harry Gibbs disagrees with that. He says if somebody's won the rest of the round, he's, he's entitled to a draw. And again, and that was a lovely left hand shot. Yep. Wasn't a devastating punch. And I think Wright uh, could have stayed in his feet if he wanted, but sensibly took the count. Round eight. Well, what's become a very hard and, well, a gruelling fight in many ways for the WBA championship. Jim White and I now have got the Argentinian Julio Senior Vasquez ahead, but uh, Wink Winky Wright's done pretty well. But just what will you say? A couple of rounds or a couple of points? Yeah, a couple of points in front. I would say, Reg. Yeah. No, I just feel. I think the couple of knockdowns is uh, what really separates them at the moment. Vasquez is always stronger, but Wright has produced some lovely boxing, lovely long-range jabbing, and a couple of times he's been in the floor. Obviously, I've weighed heavily against him. This is lovely stuff from right. Nice long range hooking there. Now he, he's coped very well, Jim, considering it was such a jump from the opposition that he's had. Lovely shot, yep. Vasquez was in the verge of getting over there. Look. You really got to hand it to right. This is tremendous stuff. Crowd are rising to it as well. And this is the first time he's sustained it. I think he actually feels he can force a stoppage here. Oh, what a round this is. You hardly expected this after the previous trouble. He said, maybe the corner and said, you've got to go for it here. You're behind, all right. He slipped again there, Jim. Again, yep. Well, look at the power he's getting into his shots. I mean, I, th I thought he was feeling the pace a little bit, a little bit tired. But this is real good stuff from Winky Wright.
find the tiredness in Vasquez's boxing now. He's probably more than surprised the way this fella's come back. It looks as though he had it in the bag there. This is a real pity, that I think, that uh, Wright has been on the floor a couple of times because he's been giving really as good as he's been getting most of the time. Good round, this. Yeah, and my card, uh, Wright's better punching has won it for him. a bit tired last question punching himself out a bit I suspect he's hit him with everything but the corner bucket yeah we just wonder how long uh, Wright can sustain this kind of action I mean he used up a lot of steam in that burst in the middle of this round it seems a long round to me doesn't you now there's been so many punches thrown that was a kind of tired looking stumble from the champion yeah there. wasn't it he really is looking exhausted here. So we're back for round nine then. And a really exhausting championship fight, this one. The Argentinian looked as though he, well, almost had it made there in the seventh and eighth. And then Winky Wright came back, had a good round. So this all southpaw battle in the, in the white trunks, Julio Cesar Vasquez from Argentine, making his ninth defense, and only one loss on his record of disqualification against uh, Ronnie, nicknamed Winky Wright from Florida, who's done quite a bit of boxing in Europe. He's a handy, handy boxer at 22, Jim. Even if this went against him, he could still come again. Yeah, well, we're never sure how uh, right the coat uh, moving up so, so much in class. I mean, there's such a big gap uh, from the champion here to his previous opposition. But I think he's really coped well. He's, and, and in my card, he's had three big rounds. There we go. I love it. I mean, he looked as though he was going to float the champion in there with that left hand shot again. He looked as though he might have him over. Now, that would be a bit of a sensation. And that right jab from the challenger working so well off and on. He just can't seem to sustain it to get himself in control here. Oh, oh he's dear, he really sickened him with that punch. Is he going to stay there? He'll do well to beat this count. Oh, he knows where he is. That's a good sign. Referee must just check that he's okay, and he will. Having he's a bit of a long conversation. He's in bad shape. Yeah, 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 he is. He's, he's, uh, look, look at his legs here. He's in bad shape. This looks like the finish. Yep, he is really in bad shape. No, he's, he's, he's called yeah, he shoved, he shoved him over there. Well, the, the canvas. Yeah, the, it's, it's, it's the advertising on the canvas. It's got a shiny surface to it. Yeah, one good shot will finish this, Reg. Vasquez, he's, he's not really a good finisher. He's kind of crude, but he's certainly going about the job well here. Oh, another good shot. He'll do well to survive this round now. His legs have gone, Reggie. He hasn't recovered from that knockdown punch. I think it shows how tired Vasquez is that he can't nail him with a finishing shot. Well, I'm not surprised at the, the punch rate that we've had all through the fight here. Nick. It's been a hard scrap for both of them, obviously more for Wright on the right receiving end now. He's got nothing left, Reg. His legs have gone. One good clean shot will finish us for the champion. Well, the referee's giving him every chance, as they say in, in championship boxing, and, and he's pleased to hear that bell. Now, I wonder what the, how the corner are going to handle this, Jim, whether he, he's going to be considered OK to come out again or not. Well, I think he was an automatic pilot for a lot of that round. He just managed to get through it, but I think it tells us how tired the champion must be. I mean, it was a good shot that put him over. Bang. You see how his legs have gone there. That was a solid shot. Delayed action down the goes. Onto his back he went as though he wasn't going to even try and beat the count. 
this, the, this was the stumble, the, 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 the slip and then the stumble, which was fair enough now that we see it for the second time. Oh no, he's going to come out again all right now. He's answering the seconds back. Very hard to pull a man out of a championship when, you know, when there's still some hope. Yeah, well, I mean, for Tenth me, round. it's the three knockdowns that he's suffered that I've really gotten behind because he's, a, he's had three good rounds himself. And he's been holding his own in most of the rounds. Vasquez always looking the stronger, but for me, it's the three knockdowns that are, are, that are keeping him in front. Well, I, I'm surprised he's got off the stool even. And, not, and he's come back as if it's almost the first round. Look. As if to say, all right, well, that's a bit of a mishap. And as, as you say, an automatic pilot putting it right there. I was amazed that Vasquez didn't land the finishing punch in the previous round because Wright was totally gone. His legs were shaky, his eyes were glazed, but he managed to get through it. So he's proved uh, tonight here that he can show a little bit of grip when it's required. Another question the Vasco is trying to bide his time really Jim is it I think he's a bit surprised yeah. that he's coming at him again yeah and, and, and he was definitely tiring wasn't he the both champion. a little bit tired here I mean you can see Vasquez's punches he was pawing there he really good shots from, from right that's, that's a remarkable comeback this and the crowd loving it I'm not too sure Vasquez is short of being exceptional do you know that i mean the perfect jab good combinations of just that, that little spark that's needed just to, to lift them up into that top class he just can't seem to cope with vasquez's strength at times i mean he's got all the moves all the sharpness in his punches he's a bit slow getting away there jim he's obviously tired as he's doing that he'll lead and he'll just hang in there a second or two too long and it's been a hot pace, but then again, no problem landing cleanly on the champion. He's been using an excellent southpaw jab all the way through. Uh, right. And Vasquez comes in a bit square on. I'm surprised that Wright's not tried the left hand uppercut there. He's, he's moving on to it again there. Oh, he did it with the right hand, you must have heard. Jim, when you see fights like this, you can understand why they pull back from 15 to 12 rounds for a championship. I mean, they're giving everything here, and 12 yeah. is long enough. Yeah, this is heavy weather. I, I agree 12 rounds is enough to, to separate the better man. I like 15 rounds when I was doing it myself, but uh, I agree with the, the cut down to 12. And he, he takes a deep breath, of the old sprit riders used to say, bellows to men there by the look of it with Vasquez. Surprisingly, he's unmarked, really, Jim. I mean, all right, he's banged around the face a bit, but there's no cuts. He's tasted a bit of leather in its time, though, that face. Have another look. I mean, that was lovely. I mean, at this stage in the fight, where he's obviously feeling tired, that was a nice bit of, of adventure there, the right-hand uppercut. I'm impressed with, with the grit and the courage that Wright has shown in this fight. So here we go then for the 11th. And it's been a remarkable fight in many ways. When we thought the challenger, Winky Wright from Florida, was, well, down enough to say he's had enough, and then suddenly he's come back and dictated again in the 10th round. Just to repeat it again, it's, it's never been 12 rounds before, and he's still, well, he's not showing any lack of stamina. In fact, Vasquez has been the one that's been noticeably blowing. Sometimes, Jim, it must be the focusing and the attitude, really, as much as the physical need of stamina. Yeah, well, you just have to have that will to win that drive you on when your legs feel exhausted. And Wright has shown that he's got that. Vasquez is the one who should be lifting up a gear. I mean, you can't depend on the knockdowns to, to hang on to the title. 
But at the moment, that's the only difference I can see between them because, in my opinion, Wright's boxing has every, been every bit as good as the champion. They both landed jabs there, but it was Vasquez's there who uh, had the impact. Referee handled it very well. Well, tough fight. It really gets harder as it goes on as well. Can we have to praise the referee? I mean, I, I think I would have had uh, right out of there a couple of rounds ago when he was really looking all over the place. But the referee gave him a chance and he came back well. I think he might have been prepared to step in when he got off the stool and give him about half a minute. But then, of course, Wright took over again. So he had to let it go on there. And it's just as well there for him. Vasquez, I think, is trying to move up a gear now. Put this there under more pressure. Vasquez has actually looked a, a little bit short worn in this fight. I think maybe too tough a, a schedule is beginning to take toll on him. Yeah, the ninth defence in 20 months. I mean, that really is going some. He had a lot of problems over in Belfast uh, against the Russian uh, Dottier, didn't he? I mean, yeah. he, he really struggled to, to pin him down and, until uh, eventually he got him to crumble. And he's had a lot of problems in this one. Defended against Aaron Davis, another American, but the rest of them, Panamanian, Spaniards, he's done it all. These are lovely punches again. I mean, I don't know where Wright is finding these. One minute it looks exhausted, the next out it comes with quality shots. Well, he's a bit of a natural gym, isn't he? I think maybe he just got involved a little bit too early with Vasquez in this fight. I think he, he needed a, a couple of more rounds uh, at long range. He just stay on his bike. And I think it sapped some of his strength. But what a good show. He's doing his credibility. No harm here. So three minutes to go. Good work. Relax. Relax. Hand it to Dan. Don't, don't water. Hand it to Dan. Thank you. Well, well, he could do with a shower bath as well there, Jim, couldn't he? Must be tough coming out for that last three minutes, they say. Is it going to be okay? Can I win it? Have a look. Well, the, the champion tried to mount an attack. He tried to raise the gear, but once again, right, went with him and come back, and he was given as good as he was getting. So the final round, then, of this real hard and often a scientific slog, strangely enough. It's, uh, there's been a lot of quality in the fight. The most active champion at the moment, that light middleweight, 11 stone, Vasquez from Argentine. Well, you'd have bet odds against Wright being out for the 12th round and still with a bit of sparkle in his boxing gym. Well, I'm amazed, and as I say, I think the knockdowns, I mean, it's, it's how often do you see a man on the floor three times and still win a world title contest? It doesn't happen too often. I don't think it's going to happen here. I think thanks to those knockdowns, uh, Vasquez's title will, will, will stay where it is. But your heart goes out to right. A tremendous show he's been putting up here. Still the most immovable object though, this fella, isn't he? Just Vasquez. I mean, he he really is a fearsome sort of a fighter. I mean, no doubt it will catch up with him Sunday, but uh, right now it's going to take some, he really is going to take some beating. Well, a couple of times uh, tonight he's looked just a little bit ragged and he hasn't been able to step up the gear. I think a little rest would do him no harm. I think three or four months out of the ring is what Vasquez needs. I well, believe he's hanging on to his title here, but I mean, it's not been the, the sharp performance. He hasn't been able to maintain the pressure that he usually can do. See, the winner can make quite a bit of money here with the unification fight against Terry Norris. Oh, a good shot again. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, if there was any doubt, and we don't think there has been, well, that's it in the, in the last round. Now, you've got to feel a bit sorry for this fellow. He's fought with a lot of guts, a lot of guile. And perhaps a little, what, a little early in his career, Jim, maybe six months later, it might have been a different story. It's difficult to say. He's not one of the, these guys who's a beast. I don't think he's going to become a lot stronger physically. Maybe if he had a few hard fights, he'd have learned a few more tricks and he could have coped with the pressure more. 
But uh, as I say, you're not on the floor four, five times now, five times on the floor. Definitely yep. Vasquez hanging on to his title. We, we, haven't, we haven't got the, the three knockdown rule. That's one good thing. So I would hate to see that in the last round if it was only sort of half punch, half slip and no. call it off. And I think it's tiredness as much as anything else that's put them over in the last round here. The punches are good. And we have to hand it to Vasquez. I mean, it's been a struggle all the way there again. He's, he's, he's taken that full-bodied jab. But a true championship uh, style. He stayed stuck to the, the job. And he finally ground his man down. Well, that's it. It looks as though Vasquez knows now. He, he obviously has with those knockdowns. Retain the championship, and he's been some consistent champion. But this this fellow will go out with a lot of praise. Ronald Wright, his his time will come. So a powerful performance there from the champion Vasquez, who had Wright down five times before inflicting Wright's first defeat. Mind you, it has to be said that the challenge has never been in with anyone like Vasquez before. Let's switch to Lake Tahoe in the States now, where a young prospect called Carlos Famous Hernandez is causing quite a stir in the lightweight division. Hernandez comes from California, where he's a regular star at the Los Angeles Forum. He was born in...